And that was pretty yeah. good. Yeah. It was good. And I yeah, so. I missed. No, I missed. <laughs> five or six songs written on the guitar and like half of them had vocals and I wanted to have them like I envisioned them with two guitars and a bass and drums and, and one day Julian was at my house and he played some of the songs and I played drums with them and then he invited me to jam with them like that week. I was skeptical at first I must say I was like oh, you know I'm not so sure and then I did and it was a lot of fun so so they started jamming and then I heard that Theo was in a band, Gabe told me, so I go up to Theo and I ask them, like, do you guys, you guys play super hit music? And he was like, yeah. I'm like, do you have a bassist? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, he was hating on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, oh, oh, you're in a band with Joe? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, you guys like play hit music? And I was like, oh, yeah, I guess. He was like, oh, man, that sucks. Uh, oh, do you have a bassist? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. Come, come join us. Oh. And so one day he joined us and we were super hyped. <laughs> Month, pretty much since we started playing to come up with a name. We always jammed in the, uh, garage. In the garage, so we would look at the boxes in the garage and like, at one point we were Glacier Bay, because there was like a Glacier Bay walk. Seventh Heaven Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Love Symbol number one. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, then we were, one day we were like, we just need to buckle down and come up with a name, and this envelope was sitting on top of my organ back there. And um, it was this really neat photo of my mom from probably like right. the mid 80s to early 90s. My grandma talked her into doing a photo shoot. <laughs> um, and I had always envisioned it as like a sick album cover, you know, with like some cursive rope writing above it. And so I was like, why don't we just name it Christy after my mom? And they were down. So worked out and the idea is when people look at our album it's gonna be like this with the cursive writing and I'd like people to think that it's like a woman in her early 20s well maybe mid 20s launching her solo singing career and then they'll buy it and only to find it's naughty guys in a garage. How did you get into playing guitar? Um. For my 10th Christmas, my dad got me an electric guitar, and I took lessons for like a year, but I was really bad about practicing. And then um, he gave me his old acoustic guitar, and I kind of just played on the side, and then I got a keyboard for Christmas a few years ago, and I was really into that, and I would play it every day. And then slowly I just kind of got tired of it and would play my guitar more and more until that's no, kind of just what I play. How did you choose to be in the band with you? 
Well, first I was just trying to think of any friends who played musical instruments. In particular, I was looking for a second guitar bassist. And um, I had my friend Zeke play with us for a while. Actually, it started off with just me and Zeke. And then um, we were trying to think of someone who would play drums. And then I remembered that Theo had an electric drum set in his room. So I was like, hey, do you want to play music sometime? And he was like, sure. When I was maybe like 10 or so, maybe younger, my dad got me my first drum set. And I was really stoked on it and I played it a lot for like the, last, the next year after that. Julian um, like had a few songs written and then one day he was just hanging out at my house and saw the drum set there and was saying, oh, maybe you should try playing some drums to some of the songs I wrote. And so I did and then um, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it and he invited me to jam with him that Friday and I did and ever since then I got really into it. When I moved out to San Diego is when I first started, and I picked up bass about a year or two after I moved here, I think. I think I just kind of saw it, and I was like, oh, I'll try that one. And when I was little, my hands, like, I could not even reach halfway down the neck. It was, like, just a huge instrument compared to me, compared to my size. So, but, I don't know, I stuck with it, and it kind of developed from that. Yeah. Where do you think your band will be in? 10 years from now? I have no clue, because we like, we've only been together for what, four months, I think. Four months, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer, because I'm a year older than Julian and Theo. So I'm going to be going to college, and they're going to be here still. So the future of the band is looking like we're going to try and record and have a album or EP or record or whatever you call it. Uh, sometime in the next six months and then we're gonna try and send it to record labels and see if we can get on anybody and just play a lot of shows and then uh, after Gethin leaves we're still gonna like have Christy but it's gonna be kind of on hiatus until he comes back from breaks or we'll practice over Skype or something and we joke about it we're like we'll have Skype sessions and stuff like that um, but I don't know what would happen if it like took off or something, that would be really sick. Like Then I think I would yeah. stick with it, but if it didn't go anywhere, I don't know. It would be sick to have the experience and have the CD and say like what I did, but it depends on what happens in the next like five, six months.